Looking back, I have goals as a basketball player, but I would never thought that I would have did some of the things I end up doing my whole career at New Omni. I'll never forget every home game, just hearing the school song as we run out, just the 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 the, 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 the. I just remember that every time. That's that's my favorite memory, is just having the fans cheer for us. I want to state my sophomore year. That's probably my biggest accomplishment as a basketball player. And then I won Mr. Basketball too. Ended up being fourth all time scoring in Indiana high school basketball, like 3,000 points. I really don't keep up too much with my awards that as much as my parents and anybody else do. To think that my son could impact a city, impact a region the way that he did just by simply playing basketball and being who he is. You know, you mentioned Romeo, somebody's got a story to tell. We thrive around one thing, really, it's basketball. I've seen a lot of ball players come through New Albany. I've never seen a, a kid wait for an hour and a half after games and sign every single autograph for every single kid. Perfect. Thank you kindly. Thank you. I've never seen lines for six hours to get into a to get into a game. Not only is he one of the best basketball players I've ever seen. <laughs> you can tell he's just a good kid. He touches all age groups. Obviously his basketball abilities speak for themselves, but it's how he handled himself off the court that brought the kids to him. Also, older people were attracted to Romeo. Some of New Albany has a great season ticket base. Um, and, and during Romeo's time, it, it rose to 3,200 season ticket holders for a gym that seats about 4,000 people. Good luck, bro. I'm gonna ask him. We're gonna miss you next year. Big time. Can I get a picture? He don't want no kid to leave a game and say, Romeo didn't take the time to sign an autograph for me or take a picture. So he, he, he take that with pride. If somebody wants to like take the time of their day to come watch me play and then on top of that, sit in a line for like two hours and wait for me to sign something of theirs, I'm gonna take it whatever time it needs to sign everybody's because I know like if I was in that position, say like LeBron was signing stuff, I wouldn't be that one kid that he just stopped signing autographs on. You know, it's a lot of special moments here in New Albany, but when the city named a basketball court after him, that just, you know, that, that blow me away, you know, as a father. That's one thing my dad did tell me. Uh, he just made me, told me to think about just LeBron or Kobe, the greats, they didn't have a part named after him when they were just now leaving high school. So that's just a true blessing that God has gave to me. That court shows the honor that the people here in New Albany wants to show Romeo and just to say thank you. People don't know Romeo played a little tennis. Tell you a story about the tennis when he was uh, in the fifth grade, because I taught him how to play tennis. When I was playing tennis, probably just first starting off just going to the park, playing with my mom, and like being hurt because she really can't move as fast as me. So I just like hit the ball across the court and stuff. And then I remember I went to try out for the tennis team, and I just went on the last day. So we didn't have his physical again in time. By him not having his physical in on time, he got cut. That's probably the only time I ever got cut from a team in general. I think I could have been pretty good just because I'm so long and athletic. I could cover up a lot of the court. I ain't gonna lie, I don't miss it. <laughs> April the 30th. You talking about over 2,000 people, you know, show up just for announcement. It was just open women for me. Perks of being Mr. Basketball and also going to IU is just being well known and having all the fans love you, but also that's a high standard you have to live up to because you are labeled as Mr. Basketball, Mr. Indiana, so you gotta play like that and you're gonna have some critics, but you really can't listen to that. You just gotta go out there and do what you do. Being in the triangle that we're in with the University of Louisville is less than 15 minutes away, an hour and 15 minutes from UK, and then IU Bloomington is an hour and 30 minutes away. It's just awesome to have something from here that we can hold on to and grab it and say, this is our guy. 
in a community where I have seen people for years have been Louisville fans and went to U of L games. Now all of a sudden, hey, we're going to Bloomington this weekend for the IU game, or they've got that Romeo Zero IU uniform, and he has really helped Indiana, I think, become more predominant. There's a lot of pressure to keep up expectations of others. You know, it's a lot of pressure just to keep everybody happy and to keep everybody satisfied. I really don't pay too much attention to anybody else's expectations, but myself and my family and my coaches and people close to me. Because if I did, then I don't know where my head would be at. I'll go out every game nervous, tight. When I'm out there playing, I know what I'm capable of doing, so I really don't feel any pressure when I'm out there.